A new breaking study has linked a common insecticide with brain abnormalities in children. A Columbia University study reported a connection with prenatal exposure to chlorpyrifos in brain malformity in New York City children. The study tested for insecticide concentrations in the umbilical cord blood post-delivery of 270 children and then conducted brain imaging and behavioral tests with the children from ages 6 to 14 years old. Of 200, the study found that, quote, Progressively higher insecticide exposure levels were significantly associated with progressively greater alterations in brain structure, function, and metabolism, as well as poor measures of motor speed and motor programming. The study is yet another piece of evidence linking chlorpyrifos exposure with brain damage in children and highlighting the need for its full ban. Chlorpyrifos regulation has bounced around between the EPA and U.S. Court of Appeals with agrochemical companies like Garda Chemicals International and CropLife America strongly fighting against limitations. The EPA still allows application and residues of chlorpyrifos on conventional alfalfa, apple, asparagus, tart cherry, citrus, cotton, peach, soybean, strawberry, sugar beets, and wheat crops. American politicians are currently trying to give liability immunity to pesticide producers for chemicals like this so they do not have any financial risk with past, current, or future chemical application. In addition to speaking with your representatives to let them know that you do not support liability immunity for pesticide producers, you can also talk to them about banning chlorpyrifos. To help you do this, I put together contact links and talking points on my website blog, which I linked in my bio for you.